producing sugars from from plants is really a key obstacle on the road to producing fuels and chemicals. Most of the time, the way people have done it in the past is that they've used expensive chemicals or biochemicals such as concentrated acids, enzymes, or ionic liquids to get those sugars out of the plants. And what we've discovered is that by using gamma lactone, or we like to call it GVL, um, which is a molecule you can easily produce from plants themselves, we can promote the deconstruction of these plants into sugars even while using very low uh, acid concentrations. So it provides us with a really cheap and green process to produce sugars in a mixture of GVL and water. That's great so far, but we, what we really want to do is to produce sugars in water uh, by itself and be able to recycle and reuse the GVL, otherwise it just gets uh, too expensive. So what we typically get out of our reactor is something like this, which is a mixture of the sugars in GVL and uh, water. And what's really impressive about this system is by just using fairly simple additives, we can transform the system so that the water will spontaneously separate from the GVL and take all the sugar with it. So now what we've got is a process that allows us to produce a concentrated phase of sugars in water and once you're at this stage where you have the sugars from biomass you really have a lot of possibilities you're at the first fork on the conversion road between plants and fuels to chemicals you can go down the biological road and ferment those sugars to things like ethanol butanol or even other much more complex commodity chemicals or fuels but we can also go down the chemical route and further uh, chemically process those sugars to things um, like maybe hydrogen or liquid alkanes, things that look a lot like gasoline. So this is really a, a process where we've demonstrated a new chemical route to produce sugars, this very versatile intermediate using a solvent that can easily be produced from biomass itself and requires very little of anything else, just a little bit of acid. And so we think this is really a potentially cheap and much more efficient way of producing uh, sugars and could enable biomass conversion to fuels and chemicals.